Let's talk performance. So in this example, I'm gonna start with some totally fake code, but we're gonna pretend like we're getting some signals coming off of some sort of sensor and we're gonna process them. So I've got some data, or I've got some code here. This looks like maybe C or Fortran like loops, great. We're gonna run this with Python and we're gonna use NumPy to do so. So we're gonna pretend like, as to start our example, that we are running, we're getting this data off of a sensor and we're gonna pretend like we get five of these and we're gonna process the data, do an FFT and save it. So I'll run this now. We're looping through zero through four and using NumPy to do this process. And we're gonna see this takes about 10 to 11, 12 seconds, something in there. It's going, maybe that's good enough, maybe it's not. Uh, but we can speed this up. We can make this a lot, lot faster if we use something called Numba. And Numba is another Python project. It's gonna compile our code for us. So I'll go ahead and rerun this function. And now if I rerun this, the first time it'll take a second, that's mostly compilation. And after this, it's gonna run really, really fast. So we went from 10 seconds to 232 milliseconds, which is pretty nice. And so now what we can do is, let's just throw more data at this since we can go so much faster. I'll remove the print statement so it doesn't look too ugly. We'll go ahead and run this again, but instead of looping through, let's say five fake images or fake signals, let's loop through 100. And we can see this takes about four seconds. So we 10 x or 20 x our data volume, and we got a speed up of, of, of two x, Pretty nice, more data, much faster. Now we can parallelize this with Dask. So we can, instead of running this just on my local machine here, my Jupyter Notebook, we can go ahead and run this on a cluster of machines. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and comment this line out. I've got an existing cluster over here that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna fire this off. So actually let's get two clusters so you can see a good example of this. Uh, so let's go ahead and take, we started with 100, let's go ahead and 10x this once more. I've got my cluster here, and now we'll do this across 1,000. Fire this off, and let me show you this processing over here on the right, how beautiful. We're now running through 1,000 images. So we've 10x the data once more, and we'll see just how long this takes. Should take somewhere between maybe 10 and 14 seconds. There we go, about 14 seconds. Okay, so now we're seeing linear speed up. We 10x the data, at roughly the same amount of time by moving to a cluster of machines, in this case going from my local machine to five distributed Dask workers. But we can do even better. So let's say for example that we wanna forget about this whole 100,000, I just want this to run in real time. I just wanna kick this off like I'm actually getting data from sensors. What would that look like? So over here now I have a cluster of 100 machines and I can run this, I'm running this just as if this is coming off in real time. And you can see, because of all this white space here, I'm not even saturating this cluster of machines. So I can execute this a few more times. I'll just run shift enter. We'll kick it off some more. Three, we're starting to get there now. Three, four times we're running this. I accidentally restarted my cluster, but that's okay. Dask is lazy. It'll go ahead and kick things back up again. Recognize my stupidity. And I can run all of these. I can add more and more data here to this cluster and I'm still, still not even saturating these machines. So this is a good example. We went from small amount of data with NumPy, took 10 seconds. We used Numba, we speeded it up by, where we cut the time in half, 20x the data. And then we used Dask to get our linear scaling even to the point where now we can kind of go forever on this big cluster or we could resize this cluster for optimal performance.